Hi, and welcome to Do or Die, the episode where the series where I have only had one hour to learn the rules, and these lovely players are there to, you know, support me and definitely not use their advanced knowledge to trip me up and mess me in any various ways. We are playing the game Blazing Him, which is the exciting event. Uh, an exciting game created by Kat McDonald, who you saw earlier, who I have not met, uh, because they keep me separate from everything to increase the panic. Uh, which is a game where, you know, to fight the power of the, uh, you know, fight the angels, uh, young musicians have to channel the power of their song to create, you know, giant powered armor robots, you know, as you are wont to do. As one does. As one does. Uh, let's. No, too say, really. It happens more than you think. Let me introduce these wonderful players uh, to this adventure, starting with Dan. Introduce yourself. Uh, hello, hello. I am Dan, or Danfighter, or Danfighter117 on most social media. I play TTRPGs and I do voices that people like or are annoyed by. We kind of just do a coin toss there. <laughs> and I am now here to definitely help Chirag via music mech. <laughs> yeah. Incredibly convincing. Next up, uh, he's, yeah, for once he's not the one put, uh, putting hats on, hats on me. We've got Kaz. Hello, I'm Kazdm. I stream d and on uh, weekdays and weekends. Um, my D&D campaign is based on Indian and Japanese folklore, and I'm not going to be hindering Chirag intentionally. That's, that's fair. Uh, next up, we have the amazing, we have an incredible streamer, game game designer, all around awesome individual, and incredibly photogenic Val. Me? Oh, hi, hi everyone. I'm Valiant Dorian. I use you this pronouns. You can find me all on the internet at Valiant Dorian or also Spirit Bear. Please show that lovely treasure I just sent you on. Uh, as Sherlock said, I'm a TJRPG AP performer, Twitch variety streamer, uh, TJRPG talk show host. Uh, and game designer. Uh, so check out my socials if you want to find out more. And to continue the theme, I will. I believe in giving your GM rights. So I'm on. I'm in your corner today, Chirag. I will give you rights. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sure. Uh, and next up, someone who definitely isn't try isn't trying to you know, stab me in the back in the middle of the ga gameplay. We have Secret Agent P. Hello everyone, I'm Agent P. Uh, I play TTRPGs uh, online, I, I, yeah, I guess. Um, I uh, GM as well, which is new to me. Um, I, I'm, am I a bad person? Because I'm actively trying to make Chirag's life harder today. You're, you're the most <laughs> honest person on this stream. I'm the one that person, is so rude. I, I, I'm going to, conf I want to confuse the hell out of you. How could you? <laughs> how, how could you be so honest and brave? <laughs> right. So, uh, the game, I will now take, do my best to try to explain this game that I've only recently learned, and I'm so upset that I've never heard about it before, because it is awesome. But I get the chance to share it with all of you guys, all my wonderful players and the people watching. Uh, so, in this adventure, uh, this world, uh, Angels, creatures from another world, another dimension, the heavens themselves, arrived on this planet and immediately started to destroy it with just destroying large parts of it with the strange neurotoxin that just warped the world, made it horrible. And the only ones who can stop them by piloting these mighty hymnals, these mighty, uh, you know, giant robots that they summon with powered armor are, are brave musicians channeling the power of song through the hymnals to allow them to create the weapons to fight them off. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that means they are less likely to be, you know, super soldiers and more likely to be, you know, young adults, uh, teens, the ones who can really channel the emotions of so uh, song through them. Now let's find a little bit about these characters. But first, I want to like establish a few things. Uh, the default for the game is that, you know, violence, this is a game where violence is there. Civilians can get injured. Uh, so it's a bit neon Genesis Evangelion in that in that regard, as well as the kick-ass music. Uh, so, and you know, debt is an option. You know, if debt ever happens to the PCs, it is because they have chosen to put that on the table. So I will always ask, you know, players, you know, 
do you want that to be on the table for you at this uh, at this point? It'll never be like, oh, no, a bad roll. It's like, no, it's a bad roll because you chose to let that be an option for you. So uh, is everyone all right? Uh, you know, he, is there anything uh, that I might have missed out that you are, like, not happy for? Like, for example, I'm not going to visibly show children getting hurt, for example, in this uh in this thing. Is there anything else like people have? Like, please, you can kill the you kill the the elderly, but no animals. You know, just like let me know about if you've got any uh things that I got. Like how graphic is it? Is it Attack on Titans graphic or is it more, you know, lighter versions of Gundam? Like what are what are we talking about here? What are people comfortable with? Uh, uh kill me if you can, Shirag. <laughs> you killed me once. You perfectly me again. said it because uh, throughout session zero, all I was saying was, "This is a Van Galleon, and I love it." So that <laughs> covers what yeah. I, I went for. <laughs> Get in the robot, Tan. <laughs> Tanji. <laughs> Tanji, no. <laughs> uh, uh, Agent P. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm good with, I'm I'm good. Okay. Uh, if anyone has like any issues or any like problems during the stream, you know, give me that that thing. We will stop. Uh, you know, uh, if anyone just wants to like do a pause, this is pause. And you know, if you enjoyed, you know, the sounds of you know, uh, Tan Tan getting bullied and beaten up by robots, give me a yeah. There we go. <laughs> that also works now. We were fighting angels, <laughs> <laughs> but you are my angel. The the angels the angels also have robots. Oh, the angels. Yes. Yeah, if, oh, you can put everything in the quotes. Anything I say can go in the quotes. You don't need to ask. You just have to tag always me. Always ask. <laughs> Considering what you say, I will always ask. No, it's fine. <laughs> if I said it, that's my own mistake. So, uh, what I want to know uh, is, you know, tell me about your characters. Did uh, you know? Let's go through the this. Uh, done again. Tan, tell us about your character. And you know, if they're a preteen, young adult, old uh, soprano, yeah. what are we dealing with here? Uh... So, my character's name is Krauser, which is in itself a reference, but we don't get into that. But uh, uh, he is a young adult. Uh, he, before all this angel business happened, you know, like in his early 20s, he was trying to make it as a musician. He was into like some of the heavier aspects of music and some of the more raw or emotions in that regard and then when all of this happened uh things very quickly shifted and he started using his talents to help and that's why the first song he ever learned was also very much based on violence and whatnot and he chose that it's gonna be the archangel that started this mess that's gonna pay for all of this and the reason he's even in this war at this point is because he learned how to pick up a shield and a weapon. He understands how many people stand behind that shield. And that is why he has to keep it up. Kaz, uh, tell us about your character. Hi. I'm playing uh, Karuki. Uh, they're, a, they, they're a 21-year-old um, fellow with purple hair. Grew up as a... The son of a lord for a while and um but after having his whole or his entire home destroyed uh, by the angels and having his life just essentially turned upside down going from this person at the top of society all the way down to the bottom he's grown a lot in um to reclaim his home but also bringing along these friendships that he's built through his uh through becoming a uh a musical wielding mech lord. Nice. Uh, would you, you say he's like a lord? Like, is your is your character from somewhere in Japan, somewhere in the UK, in it, city made up country that we're making up for this campaign? Yeah. Made up country called Haido or city called Haido? Got it. Haido, love it. All right, mm -hmm. sweet. Uh, next up, uh, Valiant. Tell us about your. Oh, wow. your Yes, I'd be more than happy to tell you uh, about Ren, who pilots a Qatar-type uh, mech. Uh, Ren is um, a little bit of a controversial figure, as uh, he is. Uh, his whole deal is that he fell in love uh, with an angel, 
And through this romance uh, with the angel, had inadvertently betrayed his human comrades uh, and trusted them too much. And now they have the upper hand in this upper in this upcoming battle that we have. Um, and lo how love does not win, in fact, for everybody. Uh, and he's now in been placed in this position where. He has to fight back against not only the person that he lo once loved, but also the faction that they're associated with while trying to make up for his uh, failure in judgment and to prove that he's he's here for humanity. Oh, as I knock my microphone off its, uh, <laughs> off its hinge. And he's here for humanity and he's here to save innocence uh, and make up for the mistake that he has made. That's my vibe. I'm bringing gay drama into this. Uh, how does the angel present itself uh, to you? Like when you say, do they look humanoid or do you just like them big and crystalline? Do they have a name that they gave you? Oh yeah, no, like we're going, we're going to go full kind of like, uh, they, were, they were made, we were made in God's image and so were the angels sort of situation. Uh, so I think they definitely presented themselves as like, Humanoid, very human looking, uh, androgynous, uh, beautiful, out of this world, beautiful. Uh, and I will leave it up to you whether or not there was any genuine love on behalf of this angel uh, and whether any of that was real. I'll leave that up to you, Chirag. But uh, there was definitely a betrayal that happened uh, inadvertently. And I'm trying to make up for it. Does the team know that you betrayed them? The... Oh yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. You all job. know this. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm uh, still. I feel like this is just like a long gone play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I have uh, hope that they're trying to make amends. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, <laughs> Agent P. Tell us about yourself and whether they also believe in Val's redemption. Sorry, Ren's. <laughs> uh, I'll be playing Argo. Um, he. <laughs> he used to be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> he used to be a Twitch streamer and uh, is now like, now like fighting, I like IRL fighting. Like what? I mean, it's just, it's kind of like a a nightmare come true almost for him. And I like that Ren brought up like this aspect of betrayal because I was thinking. Um, so Argo has a brother. And I like I it, it's the situation where Argo would do anything for his brother, and I would like to incorporate a thing of like Ren's betrayal kind of affected uh, Argo's brother in some way, shape, or form. So hell yeah, Argo's still, hell yeah. Like, you want me to kill your brother? Very sure. Much on the fence with Ren, but it's just like that's my homie, that's my bro. Mm. Kind of that that kind of feeling like I don't want to hate you, but you hurt who I love. So mm, there's a little love loss. That's fair. Uh, one thing uh, that's in their game is that there are four NPCs that need to be made as part of uh, you know the agency you work for. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> and the members that we need to know, and perhaps one of them is your brother. Uh, Who's to say? Uh, is the where did we go? We have the commanding officer, an intelligence director, a chief arcanist who specializes in you know studying the magic stuff that makes angels and hymnals, and at least one systems analyst. So uh, we'll go backwards this time. Agent P, do you think uh, you know you can create one of those? And is any of them your brother, or is your brother like passed away in critical condition? Any number um... of things. I would like to imagine my brother, uh, his name's JJ, uh, could be like the system analyst. Like someone who's helping, but from inside a protected building. Fair enough. So do you think they betrayed, uh, well, we'll ask Val how the betrayal might have happened. Is it like they were they were an ex or, you know, gave some information to the angels from their system analysis or they, who knows? Who knows? I'm sure Val has ideas of how the betrayal happened. Oh, yeah, uh, I sure do. So, I mean, let's go to Val then. Uh, what's your ideas on how you betrayed uh, JJ? Uh, and, uh, you know, you get to create one of the other NPCs, the director, I... the intelligence director, or the chief of guns. 
I, I, in terms of the betrayal, I think it was very much a classic, like, this is obviously such a ploy. You are being used, but you're so, like, blinded by uh, the love you have for this ethereal entity that uh, I think it's more of, like, a divulging secrets sort of situation rather uh, rather than, like, a violent sort of thing. Um, but it's it's the it's the willful ignorance that I think is his real sin, um, rather than anything like crass or violent that he might have done. Uh, and I think how the betrayal had handled out is either he uh, provided information that left uh, JJ vulnerable or tracked uh, work that JJ is specifically involved in, and therefore JJ became collateral damage. I think that's kind of like the vibe of how everything turned out. Got it. So in that case, uh, Agent P, do you think like he was caught in the Cray fight? Didn't that mean like his career was damaged, your brother JD? Or you think it's more like he may be paraplegic, he might be in a wheelchair because of that? Still a system analyst or like, what do you see for your brother? Um, I think his career took more of the hit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's good. Gives us something to go on for. I like it. Whoops. Yes. Whoops. Uh, Val, you have three NPCs. You can pick one of them to create. The commanding officer, intelligence director, or chief arcanist? <laughs> the intelligence director. Um, I I want our intelligence uh, director to be uh, a girl boss. Um, and she has like short cropped hair, um, a really, really cool facial scar. I'm really bad with names today. Um, Cybel. Cybel is her name. Uh, and, uh, I, bit of lore to add to everything. She 100% is the one that, like, broke the news that I was the mole <laughs> in the leak. I, I'm giving all the antagonism all to the rest of y'all. Y'all can shit on me however much you want. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm handing you knives, all of you. Use them. <laughs> uh... Next up, uh, Kaz, we have the Chief Arcanist and the Commanding Officer. Which NPC would you like to create? I think the Chief Arcanist. I'm thinking a arrogant, spiteful person who's very much doesn't trust, or not doesn't trust, but doesn't expect much of any of us. And wants us to fail, but will but isn't like out of like but like won't like keep the information away from us. But they they just don't like just expect much with the information they're giving us. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Do you think this person uh, dislikes it because he thinks the power of the hymnal shouldn't be in you know, you know, musicians? Should, and they yeah, I, I think yeah, both. I think in yeah. in the hands of young or children essentially in in their minds. But then also, yeah, like musicians, like because like musicians generally aren't looked looked upon very nicely anyway. Uh, is the chief of uh, are they human, ancient wizard? Are they present as male, female, androgynous, something else, alien? I'd say more masculine presenting, but like they're not tied to a gender. Um, but then I'd also say. I think wizard, or like just like um, edging towards wanting to become an angel themselves, almost even, or like approach life that way, where they see themselves as an angel that's been yeah. gifted to us. Sure. Uh, do they have a name? Mm. I can't think of anything. When you say presenting masculine, do they still look human, or is it like an? Ultraman, Power Rangers, you know, companion kind of thing, where there's like a really bulky cat or something. Like, yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> a really, let's go with a really bulky looking cat fella. Yeah. Uh, if you've seen Mystic Force, you know what I'm thinking about. That the was genie. instant. <laughs> yes. I was thinking of like Treasure Planet. That's a good one. But she, the only cat I remember from that is like the very, you know, is the, is the girl boss. Is he, yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's the, what I was... The, the, the captain. Well, what, if they, what if they change their forms? They they present themselves as characters from different media. Uh, <laughs> ranging from Treasure Planet and Power Rangers. That's it. <laughs> People see different cats. 
uh, depending yeah. what they're into. You see a very muscular cat. You don't want to explain why. <laughs> uh, you, you know, we fair. don't talk about it. We don't talk about they're it. Do you want, it's like the muscular cat that cooks a monster hunter. You know, like we, we don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a name for them unless you've got one. You go on. It's, it's all uh, then the name is familiar. <laughs> oh my god. Was it familiar? They seem right. so familiar. I see you, Chirag. There we go. I'd like uh, to. I'd like to cancel my. I once uh, named the cat history, Fargil. <laughs> <laughs> cancel you. No, don't cancel whatever you said. All right. Uh, okay. And next, last but definitely not least, uh, Tan, you have one left. The commanding officer. Let's hear about them. Okay. Okay. So. The commanding officer's name is, I almost said, uh, like, you know, go uh, get or something, but no. Uh, the commanding officer's name is uh, Rikard. Why not? And uh, he is a, you know, slightly older, stern uh, man who, he He's stern because he kind of has to be because of what we're dealing with. The commanding officer has to have like a little bit of uh, order and whatnot happening. But uh, beyond that, uh, Krauser, like my interactions at the very least with him have been uh, like fair, if anything. Uh, he promised, uh, well, not promised, uh, he entrusted me with um, a prototype uh, which is the mech I'm using, which is uh, a model called the Synfaxi, which is a spelling I'll send. But uh, regardless, uh, he he promised him uh, a Synfaxi model thing as a prototype for like a Vanguard unit. Like I'm supposed to be the front line and he entrusted me with all of that. And partially also to keep an eye on uh, Ren. <laughs> after what happened because uh like that this is just like a connection i want to make uh krauser for sure like had a thing for the intelligence officer <laughs> and the betrayal caused so many problems for them <laughs> that krauser just kind of has it out for it because of that <laughs> Partially so when and you know what? You're so right for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the so drama. When, so when the commanding officer assigned me to this position, I kind of like jumped like, yeah, I'll, I'll take the prototype. Yeah, like, I don't care if it's unstable. Sure. <laughs> this is a perfect job for me. Yeah. But as far as the commanding officer, Rikar is concerned, uh, he, I think in general, still has, you know, high hopes for Ren and everything. It's just... Krauser's own personal thing that's keeping him, you know, from fully trusting. But uh, I think the uh, commanding officer trusts everyone and wants people to, like, uh, just evac as many civilians as possible and all of that stuff. And he also knows about Krauser's uh, archangel hunt that he's kind of doing on the side. Mm -hmm. So he's also very much helping him with that because that is obviously a very quick way to end the war. True. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I like that you, you said Peter, his name is Raikar, but in my heart, it's just a much older Rajiv. <laughs> Young Tad's like, ah, once again, I need kids and robots. <laughs> From Yanta, he just like survived like so many things. And now it's he been 40 like... years. Uh, I survived. Oh. oh, God, I need to make art for that now. So, <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I want to trust JJ. No, not JJ. I want to trust Ren. I want to trust Ren can do right. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, then. so we got oh. we got Rika, we have got Familia, we got Cyber, we have JJ, we have the team of the agency, which is is it an international agency? Do we think, or is it like a specific for one? I think it's global. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, you this guys... problem's a bit global. Yeah. This problem's a bit global. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is uh, I, I I'm really into a global sort of situation. Give me, give me all the fun, like Pacific Rim vibes as well. Yeah, yeah. That. See, yeah. You guys have been picked from around the world to like do this. Are you the only team, or are there others? I'd imagine others. There would be there others. Would be others. Yeah. There are others, and it is interesting that we were grouped together <laughs> with all the people we have, and we're partnered up. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> uh, 
whether you're top team, whether based. you're bottom, it's you know we don't need to. We don't need to look at the rankings. We don't need to see the rankings. <laughs> There's no that. rankings. No, definitely not. This is well, also like tiled along with scoring groups. They don't. They, yeah. they have no rankings. No, there's no rankings. <laughs> yeah. We only tell the top scorers if they're rankings. Mm. Exactly. So, uh, let's get it started. So, our brave. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful uh, sun, uh, sunny day uh, over the uh, yeah, over Mumbai. Sun's coming down. Pe- summer's going hard as a big speed boating competition is happening off the course of a uh, marine drive, also called the Queen's Necklace for this area of Mumbai, which, you know, open to the water. It's beautiful as the lights are coming off it and people are excited. People are watching, you know, from nearby, top of the nearby building to like look over as like these exciting speedboats going by. People are, are like thrilled, people are cheering. And then there's like, uh, suddenly there's a warning signal, like, you know, ring, 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 klaxons are going off as like the, the water starts rising, starts increasing as it's like, please, Please head to the shelters. Please head to the shelters. Uh, as you can see, like rising out of the water, these strange crystalline creatures start ar- start emerging from them. These once their crystals shifting and cha- changing. They almost look like how a three D creature would look to a two D individual. Is how they look to you. Like they they don't quite fit in your perspective of reality as they are like shifting and form and forming and fun. It's like please head to your shelters. Angels have arrived. Angels have arrived as they're like emerging from the water. Uh, the people on the speedboats are like tossing and turning and then as the people are trying to come down from like the buildings you know the buildings start to shake as you can see breaking out of the earth drilling as you can see more crystalline beings have arrived four more of these crystal of these angels are, arri- are arriving first chorus and second chorus are coming as uh, the alert is coming out and they say like all right pilots get yeah get Get your vocal cords going. We're going to need, need you to start singing soon as we got to drop you in. Mumbai's up. Mumbai's getting hot right now. As you're saying this, you guys. How, how guys, how are you guys transporting there? Are you by helicarrier or is it literally Voltron? We're shooting you out, you know, to Voltron, like land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Voltron, have you got? Voltron, Voltron, Voltron. <laughs> Send me. <laughs> you're in tubes. You're in your uniforms. Just, just shooting out <laughs> and just like sent, sent out in your, <laughs> in your mechs. Uh, as you guys are being shot out, uh, let's go again back to start. As you're shooting out, what does your mech look like as you are, you know, forming it around you? You know, formed out of you know, will, power, and maybe a bit of crystal. Uh, let's start with uh, Agent P. Um, it's a lot more heavier on the arms. Uh, like if Winter Soldier lost both of his arms and had to have both his arms fitted with like new this thing it's just the arms um and and just a normal uh chest plate but nothing really else on the lower half of the body it's just a lot of intricate stuff on the arms and especially around the hands nice i dig it uh next up uh val aka ren what does yours uh, look like as you are shot out at high speed at high speeds towards the, the crystals yeah, I think Ren's mech is very much like because lo- like mechs have a lot of like standard sizing, and I think his is very much like built to be agile, built to be life. So all of the joints are really uh, light. A lot of the shelling along the arms are um, sparse is not necessarily where, but uh, a little bit uh, less armored, so you can still see kind of like a lot of the wires and the joints underneath. Uh, the legs are long and spindly and spiny, uh, so that he has a uh, huge vaulting movement uh, within this uh, mech of his. So it's just this live, agile thing with, uh, let's say, a yellow coloring. Yellow and black coloring. Nice. Good combo. Uh, next up, uh, Kaz, aka, uh, is it Haruki or Haru? Haru. Haru. Yes. Uh, what does yours look like? His is quite similar in build to um, I forgot their name <laughs> uh, to Ren Ren's uh, mech, but instead of being um, less armored, is like the the shell is a bit more just compact and um, it, having white um, white pieces. It's got a lotus and. Um, Ginkgo, like samurai styled armor, um, like in uh, lotus petals and ginkgo leaf. 
um, motif formed in the armor and around his shoulders and on his um, the half scar. I can't remember what that, what that piece of armor is called. Um, that is like he's just getting shot forward, uh, ready to draw uh, their Odachi. And last, but definitely not least, uh, Krauser, aka Tan. Tell us what yours uh, look like. Yeah. Your uh, prototype. Yeah, so uh, you see it's like at first, as it's like forming, you would just see like a jet black, like plated, like carapace of armor uh, with the left arm uh, having like this big metal plate, which has, you know, like if, if they're like magical, like you would say, like, you know, uh, like arcane runes or something, almost like a little like divot of something that will come out later. Like, there's clearly like a deployable thing in the left hand. In the right hand forming, you see like this uh, the, uh, big long uh, spear. And the headpiece itself is like, you know, just like a glowing eye uh, with a almost centurion like helmet with like, you know, like the little, like a like red plume kind of going up back. And the chest plate itself is like a V which is also underlined with like the same like crimsonish red lights and as the full mech continues to form you see at the like left hand deploys like this big round uh, hollow shield and uh the oh and, and and the legs have like two big like plated like jetpacks on them essentially like exhaust vented jetpacks but yeah excellent as you guys are in your uh, yeah as you're going in just Suit it up, you're, you're able to like fly, and as you can like see, you know, people are panicking, but you, your rea reaction time of the team is fast. You're it's almost teleportation, you're able to get in there, that, able to get in there quickly. As you can see in uh, over the, over the comm list, uh, here, right, right, cars, I say, saying like, all right, team, here. all right, team, make sure that you uh, take down these, take down these crystal, these angels, but make sure to that the civili protect the civilians, uh, give them a chance to get out of there, especially the ones in the water. And then you get familiar. They like and try not to try not to uh, damage the hymnals too much when you use them. We'll need bet. We'll need them uh, if we have to pick up uh, the pieces later. Oh, and uh, see if the angels leave any leftover pieces to incorporate into your hymnals. Uh, familiar does, and you can already hear him just like you know licking himself out of annoyance. Uh, so uh, the game starts with the players are being able to uh, you know. Go first, as I said. The scene. Uh, you're arriving on Marine Drive uh, across this uh, the street. There is like a cars are going past, uh, but on the other side, in the open waters, there are several speedboats that are, uh, you know, there are several speedboats. And coming towards them, uh, in the distance that would be far, would be these, uh, you know, crystals. They appear to be uh, two. Uh, they appear to be uh, two first chorus and two second chorus. Uh, uh, angels, uh, while well, on the other side trying to like take down a large building, uh, the NCAPA uh, theater, uh, is another pair of pair of uh, these uh, angels. And just for the uh, audience sake, because uh, I'm sure the rest of you all know, you know, all the angels and everything off the top of your head, you've all your research. Uh, the first course angels are mobile angels, they can like hover and they make us free humming noises, but when they get near civilian, they, they produce a circular saw that they come in. They're not, uh, you know, they're fairly small, uh, but they are a threat. Next up, uh, on countless fractal legs, uh, second course, it's a little bit like centipedes. Uh, they, their legs can also shoot out like spears, or in this case, drills, as they try and like take down these, uh, uh, take down these buildings, uh, which they can shoot at range or impale near. Uh, again, fragile, but they specialize in destroying uh, destroying infrastructure. So they do a lot of damage, but they're essentially uh, glass canyons. Uh, actually, you know what? All the first chorus are on the ocean. Uh, the second chorus are focused on taking down the building. Because the second chorus, not that great at swinging. And not that great at swimming. Who knew? So, players get to go first. Who wants to go first? You get to do a move and an action. Um... Would we be able to play a song on the start? Yes. Uh, open work, right? You know what? Yeah, I was going to say you to say when your turn starts. But you know, as you enter it, what song are people singing? Kaz, you're up first. 
Mine's my Brave song, which is uh, going to be Body and Fire by Maya Isaac. Good call. Right. That's your Brave song. Uh, mm -hmm. Next up, uh, you know, boy, you think of your action. Uh, Tan, what is your song? Uh, I will open with my Proud song, uh, which is Through Fire and the Flames by Dragon Force. Good call. Uh, I will be proud if I could play that too. Uh, Val, what is your song? Uh, I, uh, I will be singing my regretful song. Hmm. Totally normal. Like... Don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 What's your regretful song? Uh, I don't. I don't think I have a a, a like cultural cornerstone. But it is definitely a um oh god, what's the word is escaping me? But it's definitely like an, an orchestral kind of uh, he heavy instrumental sort of uh song. Um uh, the, the kind where the vocals are and the hymnals are very reminiscent of like that of a church choir. Yeah, uh, we we can we can do fun analysis as to why the regretful song is also reminiscent of Catholic guilt and being in love with an angel. Don't worry about it. No, he's having a normal time. Yeah, of course, definitely. Uh, Agent B, what's your totally normal song of choice? Argo will also be singing their um, regretful song, which is Ooh. "Sociopath" by Stay Loose and Bryce Fox. Uh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Uh, so that means, as you guys are singing, note down the gain that you get, you know, from your song. Mm -hmm. uh, also, because you are singing a duet, I believe you guys can... Uh, we do have can, a power we could use. You could Very use. Very expensive one, but yes. Yeah, you could spend gain. Is it, as far as I understand, is it you each spend the amount listed, or total you have to spend I that? Think total. Total. I think it's total. It's total. Oh, sorry. It's three. That makes sense. Uh, so yeah, uh, so that is an option to use later on. But that's uh, we now have an idea where people are singing. So, uh, Kaz, what is your action and move? I was gonna. I'm gonna ask Ren um, to follow me and essentially go towards the water, try to evacuate many of the people on the speedboat away from the angel. And would I be able to also use my action to um, tell the people that are in their cars to just get the fuck away? Yes. Can I throw my way? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely <laughs> fine. Uh, works for me. All right. Ren on me as I uh, mm. charge in to the right. uh, Yeah. I think in that case, uh, hmm, what move is what move is that? Volume, tempo, or harmony? I think you're being like uh, very aggressively yelling at, uh, aggressively trying to save these people. You're trying to be very careful about it. What uh, stat do you think that would you think you're playing up, but well, you're just trying to be very fast about it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just mostly being on my urgency of the fact that where you mm. guys are in danger, like, well, we can tank some of it, but like they like they need to get out of here as fast as they can. Okay, in that case, give me a give me tempo roll, but you roll as many as you have in in mm -hmm. tempo, and tell me the highest die. Result. I got six. All right. Yeah, you are able to like you know get the the people who are on the street. You know who were like staring stunned in what to they ran you were able to like pick up speedboats you know like the top turn getting them over to safety. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh you managed to uh you know rescue about uh yeah rescue about four of the uh four of the 25 uh people who are in immediate danger that like picked up so uh four of them have been rescued uh this is including people you know on the building and the speedboats not just those mm. 25 people on the speedboats uh but it's just like a mixture of the two so mm -hmm. that is your movement. That is your action. Uh, who do you want to pass it to? I'm going to pass it to Ren. Ren, uh, hearing your command over in the, uh, in his own earpiece, uh, Ren nods in person as well as in his mech. Um, heard and will move parallel to you, probably on the other side, to try and save the rest of the stragglers who maybe were. Mm off the beaten path uh were further away when the angels had uh risen from the ocean and he will i will also want to employ a sense of urgency and the way that i'm doing it is uh ren is uh quickly scooping up the stragglers 
uh, so that we can uh, bolt out of here uh, as quickly as possible back to the shore. Okay. Uh, if you're going for speed, then I will tempo. <laughs> Yay! That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, no. I have a three in tempo. The rolls are not rolling. Five. <laughs> Okay, that is a success without consequence. It was Ooh. like quickly. <laughs> it was like two, three, five. <laughs> I was like, okay. yeah. You able to like grab the ones in need? You able to grab another, uh, another, uh, another, four, another four out of there? That means you are now seventeen people are in danger. You managed to gather most of the people uh, who are on uh, mm. who are on the water. Who do you want to pass it to? Do you want to pass it off uh, to a uh, hero? Oh, sorry. To Krauser, or do you want to pass it to Argo? Uh, I'll pass it over to Argo. Okay, uh, Argo's gonna, uh, go towards the angels near the theater. Mm -hmm. And, um, hmm. Uh, how many civilians are in that area? Are there uh, civilians? Yeah, there are civilians, like, they were, like, watching, like, you know, in the theater, like they had a raised platform to like kind of look it over. Uh, so there are like several of them. You think there's at least? Uh, so they're in the building. In the they're on outside. they're on top of the building, like trying to get down. You know, it's like a roof garden kind of situation. Ah, oh, mm. okay. And the angels are. They're trying to take. Thing. They're trying. They're kind of take down the building from the outside, like drilling down the sides. Okay. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm gonna use one of my moves. How how close are the angels? Near, close, far? Uh, to you, they'd be near. They'd be near? Okay, cool. I'm gonna use get checked, and I'm gonna prevent them. I'm gonna prevent one of them from like, uh, drilling um into the building. Nice. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna use one of my gain, and I'm gonna check that bitch. All right, sweet. Uh. Excellent. I'm just trying to find the move in a second. Uh, you know, uh, if you want to tell them, uh, tell the audience, because I definitely know all of this stuff. Uh, I can't see check. I can't see get checked anywhere. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, look at you. I'll look at your character sheet. A second. Wait, there it is. <laughs> Where did it go? Agent P, get checked. Yeah. Prevent an attack against a Neo Claire. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, okay, that means one of them won't be able to like do it, uh, do anything. Uh, because these gains can be spent any time, you can also basically use an action if you've got something else you want to do as well. Um, uh, if you want to hit one of them, you want to like rescue some civilians, you want to do something else. I'm gonna scream like a the first warning to like the people on the roof, like get up, get moving. Uh, you're on. You, we are literally under attack. Get up off your asses and get to the emergency exit. Got it. Uh, would you say that's volume being aggressive, or are you trying to be like really reserved and practical <laughs> harmony, or at speed? More what do you reserved. think? Reserved, reserved, but just loud, loud and clear. Sure. Uh, harmony then. I got a one and a two and a six, and I was like, <laughs> "Oof, we take those sixes. All right, uh, yeah, bunch of them, you know, they were the ones who weren't quite sure what to do, they're able to like, yeah, uh, and you're able to like guide them to like an area where they, these guys aren't and take them down the emergency ladder. You're able to rescue uh, those of them who can, you're able to get, uh, you're able to like bring down the number in need. Uh, there is now only uh, 13 civilians in immediate danger uh, uh, in question. total. Would you classify my action as protecting civilians? I would. Okay, great, thank you. Yes. Be sure to let the audience know how you've managed to trick me. Uh, or get one over on me. Uh, next up, uh, the last but definitely not uh, least, Krauser. What's your right. action? I see everyone going and starting evac, but the actual problem is not being solved yet. So I shall get to doing that. Uh, the big uh, centipede ones are closer, right? To us? Yes, they are. Uh, would you say that they are f like still far if I don't move them? Uh, you have a movement. You can move yourself so they're far away if you want to. Yeah, but right now are they far? 
from me? Uh, the ones on, uh, they are fairly close. They are, they're not far from you. You'd have to move for them to be far. The, uh, okay. ocean ones are far. The cool. first chorus are far. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one gain, uh, to use, uh, my ability, Spear of Longinus, and Ooh. as I do that, I deal two harm to one of the ones far away. Right. Uh, two and... harm, you said. Yes. Okay. Uh, you send the spear of Longinus straight, and it <laughs> shatters into pieces immediately. You've taken one down. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I will use my movement to get close to one of the centipedes, and I'm gonna smack it with my spear. All right. Uh, roll for smacking. I think. Uh, that's probably volume, unless you want to argue it's a different, uh... No, I'm fine with volume. (laughs) (laughs) You can hear the dishkum all over (laughs) India. (laughs) Uh, there is, uh, six. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Uh, easy, easy, easy cut. Are you aiming at a, at a number two or one of the ones on the ocean? Uh, centipede, because I got close to that one, right? Yep. Uh, so, if it is still alive, I will spend one more gain from my proud song and deal additional harm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Again, these guys are extremely are uh, very glass canny. Very good at taking down infrastructure. Very bad at taking hits uh, from himbos. You know, normal tanks don't work on them. But you pff, smash it into pieces. Uh, so you've taken down two. Oh, Thanks. so I don't need to use more gain. Amazing. You do not need to spend a gain. He only had only had one hit. Amazing. Nice. Excellent. So, uh, that's there. That's there. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So that means now it is my turn. There are seven enemies. Sorry. There are six enemies left. Uh, and so we begin their music. So I need to roll a D six for each enemy and we will see what happens. Roll. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. All right. Um Okay. Okay, phew. All right. That's not as bad. It's not great. Uh so the uh ones in the water, you see that the water starts to go green as it starts spreading. As 10% of condemnation oh is added god. to the battlefield. Uh however, you notice that the one that you tore apart, that you broke apart, has left some uh shining uh Material left, and you can hear familiar in your voice. There, there, there's, there it is. The precious, the precious. Pfft, sorry, I watched some Lord of the Rings last night. It's your movie. Your humanity is terrible, but your movies, top class. Anyway, grab that. Uh, and he like points out, like on the ocean, and also when you smack, there are three pieces of useful angel scrap that can be used to restore one health to a hymnal unit. You don't need to grab it now, but basically, if anyone wants to, video game style, go over and then immediately pick it up. Uh, like a pizza and Tina made turtle. Immediately restore some health. So, uh, that worked out well. Sixes are very good. You got three sixes. Uh, next up, uh, the enemies will now move as. So, uh, they. Uh, one of them starts destroying, tries to destroy part of the scene. However, uh, Agent P, sorry, not Agent P, Argo wants to, will you, you said you want to spend a gain to prevent them from attacking uh, the building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, if you spend that gain, then their attempt to like destroy part of the scene is negated. They're not able to, uh, they're not able to do that. Uh, did we lose Kaz? I believe he just turned radio off. Oh, they're, they're, they'll be back. Yeah. Huh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine then. Uh, sweet. So, uh, in that case, uh, yeah, I won't panic. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, the other two. Uh, one of them activates, uh, you know, starts spreading infection. Like you, the neurotoxins coming up near them. Uh, some of the civilians who are assigned a cough is they're trying to get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible. So, condemnation uh, goes up to 20%. And one of them summons up an arcane barrier around, uh, you know, around themselves. Because, you know, you guys are all over here and potentially going to wreck their faces. 
Meanwhile, on the water, uh, these fast-moving uh, creatures, uh, they start swarming uh, to get uh, towards uh, our heroes. And they're attract they seem to be attracted uh, to the music uh, as two of them, uh, one of them starts adding condemnation, bringing us to 30% condemnation. Uh, and the other two, each of them steal, tries, steals a gain uh, from one of the uh, from one of the hymnals. Uh, so I think actually, uh, oh wait, these ones are, yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, they each try and absorb. Uh, they each absorb a gain, one from uh, one from Hiroki and one from Ren. So note down, one gain has been removed. Damn it! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and unfortunately now the water starts to rise and rise and rise as whatever the condemnation is doing and circling on the water, it's causing a tidal wave that is going to hit Marine Drive, uh, and you know, in about if no one does anything in two turns. So uh, that is how the battlefield is changing. We go bow. The players' terms. Who wants to go first? Can I? Sure. Uh, sure. There's a tidal wave coming, right? Yes. Uh, can I do like That's a shenanigansy thing to stop it? You can try. Uh, so I wanna essentially just using my like thrusters just bum rush towards the tidal wave while just playing my song and using the vibrations of the song playing extremely powerfully into like the water just break the wave into like ripples in right, the other direction that literally sounds like volume so i'm gonna have to ask you to make a volume roll I was unless you have you a, would. <laughs> unless you have a game that you think works differently uh Oh, also, everyone, no. uh, uh, refill your gain at the start of mm. the Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the same, if you are sticking with the same song, stay with that. That gain increases again. Uh, Kaz, did you hear that you lost one gain? I did not. I, I am crying inside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's all fine. why we do volume rolls. That is a six. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I, I have five. Uh, do I succeed? Did you get a six? Yes. All right, sweet. Uh, you got the six as you're like sending out this disruption into there. Uh, you know, it should be fine as you are <laughs> releasing this energy and it is disrupting the wave. Uh, however, it feels like either you're going to need to sustain this or you're going to need help. To like stop this wave, like I, there's only so much you can do. One hymnal. I I look around to the other people by the ocean side, mm -hmm. and I just go. Either help me or get them out of here. And I just say that, and I use my ability uh, shields aligned. After that, <laughs> and I use it for brave. All right. And that happens. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So. Uh, next up. Who do you want to go next? You have three players you can pick from. Uh, I will say... Gaz. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> So, seeing that, <laughs> to like, uh, leave for a second, what is the co other than the tidal wave? That's all I've got. That's the only bit of information I have right now. So, uh, so we have 30% 30 30 condemnation currently. A tidal mm. wave is rising. There are three first chorus, uh, you know, by the oceans, uh, you know, threatening the speedboaters and mm. uh, you guys. And then there are three second chorus, the centipede like ones, who are trying to destroy the building. Uh, still left, uh, being f fighting against Argo. One of them summoned up an arcane barrier to kind of protect themselves, and that is the current situation. Is the one that created a barrier, in, is, are they by the water or are they by the building? By the building. Gotcha. 
would I? How many would I be able to reach on either side if I were to? If you, what's cool? If you, so you can spend your movement to either reach the ones by the building, or you can uh, spend your movement to reach the ones by the mm-hmm. actually the oh, ones by the water either, either. Um, next to you. Yeah, perfect. Then yeah, like would I be able to use one of my gains to use my petowing slash? Uh, as my Odachi is swirling with lotus petals and ginkgo leaves, and then try to catch as many of them as I can, and using all my movement to try to get as many of the ones on the water. So okay. I'd, I'd be, if I need to use three gain for that, I'm happy to. Let me double check the move. Mm-hmm. Uh, which one is this? This is your. Uh, oh, uh, this is. It's my soaring slash, so it's one gain. Okay. Uh, yeah. For example, you could. Uh, okay. Uh, you could attack the ones next to you. And then uh, soaring slash to hit the one one of the ones by the building if that's what you want to do. Uh, oh, but uh, yeah, because soaring slash is one target. Is the mm. only issue. No, I'm saying like, would it be would it be able to use it multiple times to get? If you have the gains, yes. Yeah, I've got. The, yeah. I've got I, I'm you could use ping pong as much as you want. Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So how many so, are you spending? I'll spend all three. Okay. As, sure, as I'm essentially you going. I, like rushing around um, Krauser using okay. my uh, pe- uh, petal slash. All right, so that means, first of all, uh, Dewey is spent, so that means three of them are gone. So uh, do you want to take out the, all the ones on the water? Yeah. Okay, so that is done. Uh, you still have one. Uh, that means you go to zero gain, mm-hmm. uh, which means you need to spend health if you want uh, your gain back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's... Fine. Next, you want to move over and hit one of the one, one of the second chorus. Yeah. Okay. Actually, so roll. Hmm? No, I'm, I'm no, I'm going, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay on the water for now. Okay. You want to switch your actions, like help civilians, do something else, anything you want to do? Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just keep um, helping with the evacuation. Great. Uh, roll to help with the evacuation and tell me how you're doing it. I'm going to do the same. Like where I'm just going to just try to be as urgent as i can and like with my as much with my music as well and just like directing them uh in various directions okay that might be uh that might be harmony or Mm -hmm. tempo it doesn't sound like volume Mm -hmm. which would you want me to pick any other two or uh you you tell me which feels more appropriate at what you're doing i'd rather pick tempo go for it then I did like, quickly, quickly. By. Yeah, yes. essentially. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Let's get going. Exactly. Come on, everybody. Let's go, go. That, that reminds me, brother, when I use my Shields Aligned ability, uh, my song changed to Sparta by Sabaton. Up in yes. yes. Nice. But yeah. All right. So uh, you got a fact. That is still a success. Uh, that means a, because you have cleared off a lot of them, I'll say uh, five uh, rescued. And I will say the only ones left, uh, you managed to get people out of the speed bush, you'll get them all going. The only ones left are on the uh, the building, uh, on the, you know, uh, on NCPA, surrounded by the centipedes. Okay, next up, do you want, uh, do you want Argo to go next or do you want Ren to go next? I'm going to go to Ren again. All right. All right, Chirag. A lot just happened that turn. A lot did happen. Who? Who is left? So uh, specifically, who? How far am I from the ones with the arcane shields? Because they are the ones that Kraus is closest to, right? Uh, you have no, to move. Around. Yeah, you have to. Uh, mm-hmm. That's the one that uh, Argo is next to. Argo is next okay. to uh, the ones with the arcane barrier, which are near the building. So your movement can take you anywhere yeah. on the battlefield, but you can just spend a movement and get there. But currently, they are absolutely. Uh, they're, ne- they're, I'd say far. Okay, uh, but I can use my movement to get there. Correct. I will choose to do that. I will definitely do that then. Uh, amazing. Uh, you see, uh, as soon as uh, the, most of the folks are safe over in this direction, Rent turns towards where the building is, and you see this like lithe and agile little mech start like springing forward and surging towards the building and now that i'm closer to um, the terrible terrible angels with arcane shields uh i would like to use my ability uh punch through where i can deal two arm to a close enemy that is behind an arcane barrier oh sweet 
Yep. Uh, that yeah. looks like it. Yeah. From my understanding of the games, they don't require a roll as far as I, these powers. Uh, yep. Correct. I yep. don't think so. Uh, based yeah. on what I'm reading. Yeah. It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound like an attack. It sounds like a power. Uh, and you know. A uh, cat can, you know, rake me over the coals on uh, later on afterwards, but that's how I'm rolling <laughs> it. So, uh, spend it, uh, and spend. you smash the one who's behind the barrel for two harm, you said? Yes, for yeah. two harm. He erupts, uh, you know, in your high in your high speed punch, bracing in the coals. There is now only two second quarters left, and there is no barrier. Fantastic. Yep. I will use my Spear of Longinus again and chuck another two damage to one more. Okay. There is now only one of the second chorus left. One of these centipedes. Like, okay. recoiling at the back of a building. Fantastic. Chirag, does that count as protecting somebody? Because my pal is there. Uh, were you actively trying to protect Argo? I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> Argo, do you feel safer? <laughs> I mean, two of them are dead, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, that sounds like protective to me. <laughs> Thank you. That sounds good. Uh, you still have your action. Oh, does that not count as my action? I thought it did. Oh, Gain, Gains can great. be used at any time. They do not count as actions. Yay! Oh, that's joy. That's a joy for me to hear. Uh, in that case, uh, you said there was a single centipede still left? Correct. One second chorus centipede. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I want to spend? Yeah, I do want to spend another game. Uh, or am I allowed to do that? I don't know, actually. You can. Am I allowed to? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you have the game, can I can, go for it. Can I throw a centipede? I have an ability called Hurl. Yes. I would like to pick up the centipede and throw them somewhere else. I've been waiting for you to do the sensation I've been zero. wanting to throw the feet. Because <laughs> you took it at session zero, you never used it. I'm like, oh. Are Let you, me throw a bug. Are you are you gonna throw him into something or like into the ocean? Wait. Oh, uh, I yes. Can I interject? Can can <laughs> can Ren throw me? I can. Oh, this ability is move a close enemy to another zone. You're oh. sadly not my what enemy. It, what if what if well, you know, like, what, what if you just 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 for a turn? I mean, if you want. I mean, what? I mean, enemies though. What what do you want to throw? Ar where do you want to throw Argo? Why do I want to throw Argo? No, I mean, <laughs> the, the point of the you game is, us. first of all, if you just want to, if you want to move Argo, I will just let that be, I'll just let that be your turn, and then you can, that your action, and then let you still spend gain to basically throw the centipede after Argo. Sure, I'll hurl you. Where do you want to hurl, <laughs> where do you want me to hurl you to? That's my the action. Other, into the other uh, <laughs> centipede. There's okay. no okay. centipede left, right? No, so, one, so basically... So basically, your speed, your fastball specialing into ice. Yeah. For for my own for my own joy, how do you ask Ren to do this? I need to know. Just, he's just gonna look at you and be like, "No, no, no! Throw me instead. <laughs> throw me what? instead. Trust me. Throw me instead." <laughs> All right. Me. I I okay. I toss him. What do I what do I have to do to toss him? I think tossing is volume. Which it's is bad news. Which is bad news for you. Oh no! Uh, Ar Argo straight up pulled a Gimli and went, "Toss me, <laughs> toss me, <laughs> toss me." I'm uh, it's a wearing two. that. My my hymnal is pretty light too. Yeah, this is why this is possible. I cannot jump the distance. That's a five. Hey, that's a well. six. That's a success. So you go in and you are being tossed. You know, high speed at this crystal. It's like, oh, mashed into him. Uh, yeah, the uh. Enemy is down. Uh, nice. At this point, uh, we go into GM actions. There are no enemies to increase condemnation or anything like that. As the water can continues I, to rise. Can I? Can I can oh, I, no. Can oh, sorry. I, ah! <laughs> sorry. I thought that was your action. That wasn't your action at all. Uh, you are, can see that the water is about to rise if you don't do anything. But the uh, civilians are still present. There are, no en there are eight civilians left. There are no okay. enemies that you can see. Uh, and the water is rising. What would you like to do, Argo? As my action, I'm going to tell them again with that same commanding voice, get out of here, take shelter, move towards the emergency exit, and I'm going to roll another harmony. Okay. Oh, I got a 
that a six? Yeah, it's a Uh, yeah. These guys, uh, you might actually get, uh, most of them, uh, the ones who are able to, like, move, uh, are left. There's now only four people, uh, elderly people who can't quite get down there by themselves. They're the ones who are, like, struggling, but everyone else who's, like, able-bodied is able to, like, move and get out of there. Uh, so yeah, there's only four, uh, civilians left as we go. Okay. Um, you want a games you want to do? Yeah, I have, like, I have quite a few. Anyway, um, I want to use two gain to, um, deal to harm to this, uh, to this centipede. All the centipedes are killed. Wait, really? Oh, then I'm not doing, wait, then, uh... It's still people to live. To, I'm going to preempt. <laughs> I'm going to preempt. Uh, emptively just uh, use a gain to um, prevent attacks on uh, these four people. Okay. Does that mean if something happens, you can spend a gain and protect them? Good. So I'm I'm, protect them. Excellent. Great. Good. Uh, end of turn. The water rises. You know, uh, Krauser is doing his best to keep it down, uh, but Gaza is going to need either help or it needs to spend another turn otherwise a tight the tidal wave will come and smash uh down here uh endangering the civilians who are left at, and or just wrecking ncpa just wrecking marine drive next up we have uh you know what we skip we almost skipped you last time asian uh, argo you're up first um i'm gonna use my movement to get near the tidal wave mm-hmm. as close as I can <laughs> yep and oh I'm trying to think Can I dive into the ocean? Of course. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, move the ocean bed. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, this sounds like volume, unless you think it's a different skill. But I feel that sounds like because you're moving the ocean sounds yeah. very strength heavy. So I think will volume for that. All right, please. Hi. Wow. Oh, dang. How many dice are you rolling for volume? Wow. And you got a five? Good stuff. You able five. like go you ever like go down and you know smash uh you know into the ocean beds and combine effort just lowering it down. Uh you know. And able like keep it down. So combined effort. Looks like the tidal wave is kind not like going just, to help. Like, very like strongly punching it down. Yeah. Ocean bed goes down. A little bit of a wave, but definitely the tidal wave has been completely disrupted. Uh now that wave is just, you know, people are getting wet and, <sighs> instead of destroyed. So that's good. Uh, who do you want to pass it to? Uh, I'm going to pass it to um, Haru. Haru. So have we? can I see the effect of the ocean moving? The ocean <laughs> does not look like it's going to cause a tidal wave again. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. And so it's just, uh, is it just evacuating civilians there? It looks like it's just evacuating civilians. Yeah. Then yeah, I'm um, going to... Sorry, go on. If you, yeah, it looks, you know, on a cursory examination, it looks like it's just going to be civilians. Can I roll a perception check, please? <laughs> yes, what skill do you think is perception? I think that's harmony, like to give it a careful kind of observe. Yeah, uh, t- t- harmony, harmony, two. Bastard. Oh, fuck. <laughs> two. Uh, you like, you glance up, uh, and it's just like, it's your scent, you, you focus on like, Trying to hear these like civilians trying to help them out. So you're kind of like a little distracted from like the sensor. Uh, you know, the sensors are fine. There doesn't seem to be anything. However, Ren, uh, you can see like blinded by like the sun, like hidden in there is, you know, a figure holding almost like puppets, uh, two large uh, angels, type four, four chorus angels. But the figure that's there that's lit up uh, by the sun, anyone else would just like see, you know, a horrifying, you know, you know, just like an angel, a crystalline an angel. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't look like that to you. They they look beautiful. They look uh, loving. They look caring. They look like they want to embrace you, that they have embraced you. 
as you can almost see them like smiling at you as they are about to lower these class four on to your yeah on you know onto Haruki. Just like and is going to drop it on there. And you know, it's just like and it's up to you whether you warn Haruki that he, he is about to get surprise attacked from angels being dropped on him from the sky. Your mom. That's <laughs> <laughs> like they get dropped on me. That's all I that's all I say. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Jesus. Oh, you're yeah. so far away from me. Oh yeah, I don't know I could do anything. Yeah. You're so far away from me. Do we all see this or just Ren? We have no headsets, oh. do we not? You have headsets. Yeah. Also, movement action where you can basically go anywhere in this battlefield. Your move can take Someone you far, close, near, it doesn't... You can get anywhere on this battlefield, based on how big you are and how fast you move. Who's okay. using the speakerphones to talk to me? Can I tackle uh, Haru away? Uh, it's Ren's turn, and Ren has to let you guys know. Ren is the only one who's seen this. I also just realized while this is happening, Argo could have literally been just going, Hello, I am under the water. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Like, like that's how I said, oh, look, we probably I'm saw sorry. them go in. I have a quick question. Was me preventing the tidal wave protecting people? Yes. Okay, great. Oh. Thank you. Uh, is that Red, yeah, no. Red I, I will communicate it. I, yeah. I, will, I, will, I will snitch. I will communicate it to everyone. Yeah. That is in character for me to snitch. Um, Would I be able to attack then, or...? Uh, no, that was your action as a perception check. Ah, mother. Yeah. Uh, and now you see, uh, you look up. Uh, the fourth chorus oh, are large. You. The other crystals are like thin, you know, scrawny. Like, these are huge things that seem to take up more mass than they should. Almost like gravity, like, pulls it, uh, pulls in closer around these, like, large crystalline, like, brutish creatures as they are like coming in. They are bipedal as opposed to like the sentry. They stand on two legs uh, made out of these strange crystals, but their legs are like huge tree trunks. Uh, and you know, you look up at them uh, and they as they're like coming down. Uh, but you only see these two like fort chorus coming, da- coming down. Uh, you don't see anything holding them, for example. Uh, so you, but that's not, it's not your turn, but you can see it's coming. You're not going to be caught off guard, which is good. Uh, you have warned, Rand, you've warned them. Is there anything you want to do on your turn? Because that's not an action. Warning someone's not an action. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I still have my movement, right? Uh, you have your movement and your action. God, I'm very, very stressed. Um... Could you remind me again of how many people are in the vicinity? Just so four. I know. Four civilians. <laughs> four? Four civilians. Great. Uh, who? All right. So what I'm going to... I don't... That's not going to be helpful. Uh, what, what I will attempt to do uh, is move closer to the uh, civilians. And I'm not built for this. <laughs> I will basically turn my back so that my front is facing the civilians so that I have carved a path for them to go and leave while I stay here and take the brunt of everything. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll let you decide what move, uh, which stat that is. That could be any of them. That could be fast, that could be harmony, that could be any volume because you're carving a path for them. I'll let you decide. This, this is where audience members at home, Shrug is being very kind to me, but... This is 100% a volume check, and I know this, and that is my worst stat, so I will roll with that. Go for it. That's a four. Okay, that means it's a success. So these guys are going to get out. You're carving a path for them to like get them through. However, this path, you are damaging this already like weakened infrastructure from these second course earlier. So as they're getting out, <laughs> this building comes down. Uh, no civilians hurt because you managed to get all the civilians out. But you have destroyed, you know, a landmark of Mumbai. You know, the NCVA theater. It's not a big Sorry. landmark, but you have destroyed, you know, you, no one would consider you a patron of the arts after this. You know, I'm already... I'm already there. It's okay. I'm already on everyone's shit list. What's another one? 
All right. Uh, I think the only ones who haven't gone are Krauser uh, yeah. and uh, Argo. No, Argo has already gone. So I think Krauser mm -hmm. the only one who hasn't gone. Okay. So uh, Krauser. Do it, Krauser. You've been warned that there is a fort, fort chorus are coming down uh, from above. Immediately just fly in to them, seeing that... Uh... Krauser, I swear to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> seeing that Red seems to be doing his job. <laughs> so... I'm trying my best. Exactly. He's trying his best. You're doing it. The Krauser just takes for the angels. Uh, getting up close to these uh, fourth course angels. Do mm -hmm. I just see the two fourth course angels? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will take an uh, attack no. on one of them. All right. Roll the hit. This is why we get three dice. Uh, Let's go. Are you singing the same? Have you gained? Has everyone gained their gains from their song? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh yes, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> what I'm here uh, for. Five. Five is a hit. What's the damage? Two damage. All right. Uh, your <laughs> what's the the attack is you stabbing him with the spear, right? Ah, uh, correct. Okay, you go in, you stab him into the spear, goes deep into these guts, but these, this creature is stronger than the other ones and just, like, holds onto the spear. And, you know, if they could... And it's, like, clawed mouth, just, like, it opens into, like, two set, three sets of jaws and, like, roars at you in this strange, like, sound that messes up your senses uh, for a moment uh, as it, like, tries to pick up the sound. But it's still alive. It's badly injured. When it does it. that, I use my Brave Song feature by spending three gain and you see my head helmet piece also opens up and screams back at the angel as mm -hmm. I pull the spear back and stab it again. <laughs> All right. Okay, roll the hit. Uh that, that would do it. That's a six. That does it. Alright. So yeah, you hits. roar back at him, rip the spear out, and then slash it into <laughs> taking the second one apart. Uh now it is the enemy's turn. There is only one, uh, one enemy left. I'm so, next to it. I'm like, bring it. <laughs> yeah. As far as everyone's aware, there's only one enemy left. Uh, roll. One v one, me, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it and nothing. Uh, that doesn't happen. So, condemnation doesn't get worse. Uh, and now, the enemy is going to. Uh, is going to go. Uh, okay. Uh, that's weird. Uh, the way that's written. Uh, but sure, we'll go with that. Uh, it then, going to like, because you're right next to it, grab onto your shoulder and then just try to smash you, you know, uh, you uh, know kind of smash in the face. As, uh, as it's going for that, I, like, m my shield pops up as I use circle with me and I prevent the hit. Uh, it just and... prevents the hit? And okay. I'm using a uh, brave song, and since I was the target of an attack, I get two gain. All right, perfect. That works. Uh, so, uh, and as it is like shouting and screaming, its back pops open, and then just like this large javelin comes out, aims at the ground, and then fires as he erupts into the form of a third chorus angel has just arrived onto the field. It is a Glassy winged little like crispy little bird creature that's making this shrill whistling sound uh, as it's like coming out. You can see like uh, hailstones of crystals comes out as it's like flying uh, towards you guys, and will be you know uh, as it comes down towards you guys. It is now new turn. Uh, who wants to go first? I uh, go for it. would I'm like to it. launch myself for towards. Um, Towards Krauser and spin kick the spear of Longinus into the uh, the mouth of the of the, uh, the the angel. If I could, Hell yeah. nope. the one he's wrestling, go for it. Mm -hmm. Do I get advantage because uh, he's being grappled? There is an advantage. <laughs> I, 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 I love it. I just, my mind also went right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what do I want to roll for that? Because I'm uh, for the attack. Uh, yeah, you roll for attack. What do I roll? <laughs> uh, 
I, as you, what's what? I think you're trying to go. It's either speed and dexterity, uh, or you're kicking like speed, a spear. Please. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin kick, yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent. Are Five. You? Yeah. It hits. What's your harm? It is two harm. Okay. Uh, this guy. Uh, I don't think this one's been damaged. Uh, I don't think this one's been. Yeah, this one's the one you've already damaged, isn't that right? Uh, Tan? No, I, I killed one entirely by yeah. hitting it twice, and then this one I just blocked. Okay, so you s smash your spear into it. It does, it like damages like the entire left side of it, but it is still roaring. It is still, uh, mm -hmm. it's still very much alive. And then, um, as like I put, um, just like kind of spin back on myself, uh, pulling my Adachi out using my Pell Wing Slash once more, slashing downwards as I just basically glide down the length of the angel, uh, dealing two harm. Um, I, I assume it's too harm, anyway. And then that's how I end my turn. Uh, is that a move? Yes, uh, it's, there is one game. Uh, which move is it? It is my soaring slash. Sweet. Okay. Just trying to find the. Mm -hmm. uh, Pearls. Where is soaring slash? I can't see it. It anyway. is in Suruki. Type X. Okay. So, Alright, so this is a. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yep, that's up to you. So this is an addition. So the Soaring Slash destroys it. You've done total four harm. You took it down. It fell to pieces uh, at this thing. Uh, yeah, it looks like... Uh, yeah, it looks like there's no one else there. There, as far as you can see. Uh, except Red, looking up at the sun. It's almost like a mirage illusion. Just like this very familiar angel is like looking at you, and it looks so disappointed. And it like shakes his head. You just can't keep a secret. Like, you're the only one who hears it, but it sounds like they're whispering in your, right in your ear, even though they look really far away. What do you, what do you say? What do you do? I am not the man you fooled all that time ago. And what I would like to do, because this is a terrible decision to make, <laughs> but uh, I believe I can spend game to change my song. I think you can just change your song at the start of the turn. Oh, can I, can uh, I just do that? Okay, I thought I just no, spend game, uh, game to do it. I Don't have an ability that lets me do it. Yeah, then you're right. You got to spend game to change your song. Fantastic. Um, I would love to... Um, <laughs> Change into my um, resolute song. Okay. And uh, I know they're very, very far away from me, but I'm going to try to get to them. <laughs> okay. It could have snow. You fly uh, into the sun, going straight, mm -hmm. uh, going straight at them. They're not moving, mm -hmm. but like as you're like getting closer, they like they look bigger and bigger and big, and it's like. Were they always this big? They're like, they are like how your mech is to a normal civilian. That's how they look to you. And you're like, they weren't this big before. Almost like you, you keep approaching them. Uh, what do you want to do when you get close to them? Um, I will not engage quite yet, but I'm going to stand there and be a gatekeeper and essentially look them in the eye and say through my mech's eyes and say, I won't let you hurt them anymore. I'll go, stand go. here. You, you can run me over like the ant you think I am. But I won't let you hurt them. I won't let you use me to hurt them anymore. Wow. Uh, well, uh, yes, you're hearing. Unless she's put it on like five. I don't think uh, I don't think you would have put it on. I have no time to do that. Yeah. I am in the middle of confronting my ex. I have yeah. no time to do that. Yeah. You all yeah. hear this. You all, you all hear this. We'll, vo you, we'll volume to confront your ex. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck is happening? Are they also um, someone who has, like, HP that we have to defeat? You guys can't even see. It's the only one that can see them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Kirag. What did you get? I rolled a two. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you could just, like, hear, like, the... And then, yeah, you're just, like, saying there's no one, you know, like, I won't anyone get to them. 
Uh, and they just like stare at you, and they just 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 say like. And then you can feel their long arms wrap around you, and that quiet whisper again. And it just says like, "I haven't changed as much as you think you have." You guys are just looking as he's having what looks like a just like talking to nobody, as he's just like standing there like in the sky, and they're like calls in like. Uh, the civilians are gone. Are there any more angels in the area? We can't see any in our senses. Oh, I thought there was a third course one. <laughs> oh, there was a, oh, yeah, there was a third course. And everyone's been ignored. <laughs> why did you remind him? <laughs> I remember. I, I was waiting to go kill him. That's why. Yeah. Uh, is everyone there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys are just looking as like... Ren's senses, you know, are like... He's not. He's not responding. Like Ren cannot hear what anyone is saying to them on the on the comms. Oh dear. All the other comms are shut off. Uh, there is only a third chorus left. Uh, that looks ben like it's going to rain hailstones. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. I have a thing. Go on. Okay, go. So it's the start of my turn, right? Yeah. Sure. Which means I gain whatever gain that my song gives me. Yes. I have hit 12 game. Ooh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, it's a soaring song or whatever it is. You, you've been sitting <laughs> on game for so long. I've just been collecting. I've just been like, hey, Tarag, um, does this mean I protected them? Okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> And every time, the long con. Every time I, I protect knew someone, it. I get to gain. Uh, oh, I can sing the supreme melody, which uh, deals four harm to every opponent in the scene, even those behind our team barriers. Anyone that isn't destroyed by it, like if they have like more than four uh, health, basically. If, if they're not destroyed by the Supreme Melody, that per that uh, opponent is knocked back until they are far from the singer, and you lose your next action. You release this song uh, that's out there, and the uh, the three help, uh, the third chorus that like, comes in, and it's just like atomized. Uh, and then, you know, uh, when you're being wrapped around, it's whispered, like you can feel this, like, you know, this comforting toxic embrace of your ex saying everything is going to be there you haven't changed that much and then suddenly it screams you know painfully in your ear uh as it is suddenly like ripped away and it is like sent flying you know far away bursting up into like ribbons as far as you can see it looks like it goes off into the sun uh but you know it vanish it vanishes in what you you know like an angel would like teleport not like vanish like it disappeared uh mm. so it is gone uh, suddenly your sensors are back on and you can like it come in red Ren, your sensors have been disconnected what's yeah what's going on and, like uh uh yes this is uh call sign ren i uh sorry sensors were out uh i am i'm here i'm i'm alive over all right well that's... at this point i'd be like flying up to like, just catch up to ren to see yeah. what the fuck's happening yeah. Come over, I want to, to cross his leg and also fly up. <laughs> I'm still in the water. Argo's still in the water. Just like, Hello, I am. I'm this this, this is a group blub, 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 blub. intervention. I did my work and Argo's just like slowly like paddling to shore. Yeah. Uh, I just like show up and like grab on to like uh, red side. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the side of my mech. <laughs> like, just like, you know, because you were like not responding, I'm just shaking your mech. <laughs> uh, sh sh I, I'm alright, I'm alright, Krauser, I'm alright, I'm fine. I'm fine. What are we hearing? Um, just. I was confronting my ex. And I. What? I, I didn't want them to hurt what? you all. They were here, and they've left some... Because I don't think Ren saw who actually let out the melody, because he was so high up. I was like, yeah, one of your melodies just must have spooked them. I I thought I could protect, stop them, 
be be one bulwark before they come crashing down on all of us and you buy you all time. Mm -hmm. They're I gone. Just point, They're gone now. I just point out to the water. Yeah, even I just do the same. I just do a small speck. Just <laughs> <laughs> way to go. Oh, well, uh, somewhat of a bulwark, you, and let them reach before Argo did. They did. Just to be clear, none of you saw what was interacting with Ren. Mm. Ren is the only yeah, one yeah. who. Yeah. We heard the comms and then Rez like, oh, it was my ex, and we know the story, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we did something to yeah, yeah. slow them down, at least. It's the least I can do. The least I ought to do. Autobots and roll inside out. his mech, you see Krause is just, like, making a little note to uh, Rykard. Ren checks out. <laughs> Yay! Um... <laughs> Ar I feel like Argo is like listening to this conversation and just grumbling. <laughs> He's like, "Can you guys please fetch me out of the water? I can't fly." Oh, I pull out a big fishing rod, just uh, cast out to sea, and you pull an ability up. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, finally, you can hear. Uh, you hear. Uh, right. Right. Like, All right. Good. Good job, everyone. Uh, head back. But right, head back to base for debrief. Uh, mm. And see ya. Guys are stuck, uh, you know, guys are sucked back into your Bolton tubes uh, all the way <laughs> back to base. Uh, uh, you know, fun thing as you head to, uh, you know, the super, you know, the special headquarters that the uh, base has, which is uh, deep uh, underground, protected from the uh, radiation and like detection of the angels, which operate. Uh, mostly above ground, uh, as and protected from like the contamination rays. Uh, there, as you were leaving, you'll see that special units are coming to try and like deal with the neurotoxin that was left there, the contamination. But that takes a lot of time. As you guys are in your, you know, serene, you know, pristine, so uh, you know, white, white walled over the HQ base, uh, you can see Cybel uh, and Cybel uh, and Vicaro all just like. Coming out there, oh, and, shit. and it's like <laughs> so, and you can see very, you know, very strict Cybell just like looking over. Uh, you know, there is a large distance between these two, physically and emotionally. What do you say? Uh, is it an enormous room with weird things drawn on the ceiling and floor? <laughs> no. Yes, it is. Uh, and it's like, all right. So, mission went well. Uh, no report of civilian casualties, which is excellent work. Uh, so that seemed good. Uh, unusual presence of four kinds of core, uh, four kinds of angels, surprising amount. Uh, I, and you see, like, uh, Cyber looks over. There was a moment where our comms were interrupted. Uh, Ren, can you explain that? Argo's gonna pipe up and be like, I just handed oh, the report. I, something probably happened. <laughs> at, there's, I don't know. The comms go off often. I've submitted a complaint. Don't you guys read those? Um, yeah, I, I was just like, a uh, strange kind of angel, yeah. right? Uh, Ren got caught up in it for a moment, we got about, like, it's all over the and I just had that to Riker. It was raining angels, someone said. It's raining. Yeah. That's a hard thing, though. Not in the good way. Not in the good way. No. Uh, uh, did we lose Tan? No, no, no. I think we mm -hmm. did. All right. Oh. All right. Good, good. Uh, so in that case, uh, out of character, what is the time check on people? When do people need to leave? In like six minutes. <laughs> Got it. That's what I was just double checking. I was like soon-ish because I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> yeah, just trying to double check that. So that's good. Uh, yeah. And he said like, hmm. Uh, so just some comms issues. We'll have to double check with, uh, we'll have to double check with uh, JJ to see why this wasn't uh, forwarded to us. And like JJ's like, what the heck? I said all the reports. Bro, why are you outing me like I'm this? Sort of like, no, just, I, like, I, I also up. just like, you know, <laughs> whisper to JJ, like, I brought some parts back for you. Hey. Hmm. There's some Chorus 4 angels there. I get to that before Familiar does? <laughs> like, do you want the parts or do you want Familiar to have the parts? You're right. My apologies, boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, 
Yeah. Bribery always works. Yes. <laughs> yeah, fine. And uh, so, uh, okay. So that's just it. That's just the issues. As long as there's no other, nothing else to report, it's just a, uh, it's just the angels that we've seen. That we've seen the four kinds of angels. Hold my hand. Ren's taken a little aback by um, everyone coming up to defend him, considering <laughs> what he has done. Uh, and all he will say with regards to this is uh, kind of sheepishly looks down to the floor before meeting Cybel's gaze. You will have a full report um, of the encounter on your desk. Officer. All right. I look forward to it. Browser. Oh, thank you. Slightly, you know, bashfully like, yeah, I'll be there to turn it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. As you guys are dismissed and allowed to return to your uh, quarters, you know, uh, you have time to like relax, work on your music, you know, enjoy your time, getting time to with families. Uh, Ren, as you go to your like, you know, your private course, like, get out of these uniforms because they are very sticky. They're like too much. You like get out of them. Uh, you suddenly your mind goes back to the conversation because there was an extra bit of like the conversation that's only now occurring to you when she came over when they came over and they whispered they you haven't changed as much as you think then there was a second whisper and they said but you will and then you look down at your body as you can see down by your clavicle crystals are forming out of your skin oh. angel crystals and that is all yes. And that is all for this session of Who or you? Die. This is why I wasn't trusting Red. <laughs> it. It wasn't the That's yeah, what you get when you roll a two. Yeah. Nice. And so that was Blazing Him. We hope you enjoy you enjoyed that. We hope you enjoyed seeing me panic. We hope you enjoyed my, you know, the, my old trusted cliffhangers that, you know, Tan is very familiar. Agent P. Everyone knows about my cliffhanger. That doesn't change. Oh, goodness. Not what did you... What did you guys think of uh, the system? I loved it. It's really good. Great. It's so fun. I love, I love, so incredibly like immaculate. The mechanics. I was able great. to be sneaky. Hmm. In, a system has not put me in this much fear in a very, very long time. Uh, between <laughs> the session zero and now playing it live, I'm like, I'm scared constantly, and I have to manage my resources. I uh, yeah, no, I. It's so evocatively written as well. Mm. Like the vibes yeah. are like so uniquely about mechs versus angels, and you feel it the whole way through. Oh mm. yeah, yeah. I would say like with both what P and um, Val said, it's like the whole just resource management side of things. Is I like no, I, I haven't played played a lot of systems, but like, like D and D's my main system. But even then, I don't find I need to think that much about all my abilities. But like, I'm always looking for a way to use. What am I might want to use, use my gain for something cool and then just pee even saving it up. Mm -hmm. It's good e shit. Like, um, yeah, like every bit of your kit is very actionable, even if it's not your mm. turn. Like, it just feels very openly interactive, even though you're like mm. combat, which tends to be the slower part of many other systems, right? Like, yeah. So yeah. That, that's been great. Also, yeah. I feel like in a longer campaign kind of setting you can pick and choose like your songs depending on the scenario to yeah. uh mm -hmm. yeah. favor, um uh, which mm. i think is really cool like if i uh wanted more to wanted to be more of like a protector of people i would have chose like a love song done like arcane barriers for people mm. um mm -hmm. if anyone went down to zero health given them health by spending my gain um again like each song has its own like abilities and i think that's pretty cool that you can like mm, yeah even, like, in in uh the same battle change your song by spending gain i think that's pretty cool yeah i was really happy that you were able to pull off the uh the 12 point gain one like, yeah. yes we're gonna show up that cool thing in the system mm -hmm. and i like you know i like that the way the system said that there is a bunch of things you know always happening like the waves like there like that's inspired from stuff stuff that's there there's like so many root ways of things to get wild and like crazy and do things. Like, I was having ideas for, like, oh, maybe I'll need for a second uh, spot, but no, it was went well. Uh, did you guys think? Uh, did it go well? Because you guys had a session zero with someone who actually knew the rules. Uh, how did how Hold did on, it go? What you guys think? Yeah. As someone who played, even dragons are tampered with you. Yes, like <laughs> you 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 <laughs> got it down in the like mm. oh for sure yeah. like. This was so fun. Even though every ability name I gave you, by the way, was not an actual ability name, you still had yeah. it, which was good. 
<laughs> yeah, did you? <laughs> I I really enjoyed no it. No prop for now that I use was correct. I even changed the name of my mech so that you don't know which class I'm playing. <laughs> oh my god. Synfaxy <laughs> isn't in this like book. <laughs> I was like yeah. a type five or six, I think. I love the changing moves names because my three moves were literally get checked, get wrecked, and get decked. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Nice. I, I'm I'm very glad that I have a copy of your character sheet. Otherwise, I would have been so confused about what the heck was going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, no. I, I was hoping you did just so I could like confuse you a little more. Like in my mind, I'm just basically going to be like, I trust, I have to trust you guys know what the moves are. Then you're able to like go in because I don't have the time to double check. Because at that point, I was like, if it sounds weird, I will. But if it's something like that, it's like, yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no, that thing. checks out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that works. And you guys oh. dealt with these guys, uh, these angels, pretty quickly. I, you know, uh, I think, uh, yeah. And I enjoyed always, I'm very happy when, when, when Val gives me, you know, exposes the back and says where to stab the knife in. Because I'm like, yeah, there we go. And it's right. I believe right in GM right. And GM exactly. wrongs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Second I saw that, I'm like, I can create drama, yes. Oh, yeah. Is it me? Am I the drama? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing, though, with this system, in, like, a long-form campaign stuff, because, like, obviously, like, in one session, we can't interact with that, but, like, the level of features between missions and stuff, all of that seems mm. really cool, because I read that, like, you, you can pick up abilities from, like, other classes and other mechs and stuff, so... The yeah. modularity of what your build can be in a longer campaign is insane. Oh, that mm. could be a lot of fun, yeah. I don't know uh, if it's designed for, like, super long campaign or if it's designed for, for like, sure. you know, short mini campaigns. That's something I want to discuss uh, with Kat when I get a chance. Uh, but otherwise, I love this system. I love how it is. I'm a sucker for, you know, uh, mechs and emotions and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, all the various Evangelion references. It's good stuff. It's all, mm. it's all good. Uh, yeah, well, I hope you guys all had fun. I hope you had a good time. I hope the people watching it had yeah. a good time. Uh, as we're going to, you know, uh, as I'm going to wish you all goodbye, as you all have lives to get back to, and presumably sleep for some of you, depending on time zones. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know, Tan, I know. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys uh, so much uh, for joining us for playing. Uh, I'm going to go to the uh, side to say our goodbyes, but yes, it has been a pleasure. As always, uh, please return my calls about uh, yeah about uh, Yanta <laughs> season two. Uh, I and... already have. <laughs> okay, and yeah, I'm willing. Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, let's go and find out uh, where people can find out more about find out more about you, all the cool things you're up to. Starting with uh, Tan. Oh, for me that was the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> that is this is me yes uh i am tan fido uh you can find me tan fido 117 on uh instagram twitter tan fido on discord i do all kinds of different actual plays here on daisies and sometimes on different servers like uh Bats and stables and whatnot uh beyond that i do voiceovers uh both good bad annoying all kinds and if you need any of those done hit me up on any of my handles and we shall figure it out that right. is all. Kaz! Hi, uh, I'm Kaz the DM. Uh, you can find me on Instagram uh, and Twitter and Twitch. Um, I do art on, uh, mostly on weekdays, but on uh, Sundays, uh, we'll be returning from our hiatus on For My Throne Top Sands campaign, which is a crystal punk uh, DD campaign inspired by uh, Punjabi and Japanese folklore. And it's a, it's a, it's a cool, fun little. Um, fun little time about fan families and stuff and they fight gods in this very final fantasy uh but yeah and if you enjoy high fashion uh vibrant art and just very loud design you might enjoy some of my stuff you love pun panis, uh fantasy uh mm. val hello everybody my name is valiant dorian i use him his pronouns you can find me are on the internet at valiant dorian or at also spirit bear please show that lovely treasure i just set you on and tonight, I have a distinct pleasure of playing your uh, angel love struck uh, mech pilot, Ren, uses he, him pronouns. Uh, you can find me on Saturdays over at Transplaner RPG, where I play the misbeloved, doomed twin brother of the chosen one named Sayir. Uh, we're live on Twitch, Saturdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. 
Uh, you can also find me on Mondays over my own channel where I am a TTRPG talk show host of my show called Dicey Banner where we talk to all the makers and shakers in the TTRPG space. And uh, if you enjoy me on both those fronts, maybe you'll enjoy my games. Uh, so go and check out my games on uh, my itch page, uh, probably under uh, Alter Spirit Bear. So go ahead and check that out. And I'm going to pass it back over to Chirag. Thanks, GM. And last, but definitely not least, uh, with 12 games, tell us, Agent P, where they can find you and all the cool stuff you're up to. Hello, everyone. I'm Agent P. You can find me on Instagram at the.agent.p or on Twitter at the Agent P underscore. Uh, I have an upcoming game this week for Roll for Good. We're playing Mush, where we play a bunch of cute little mushrooms trying to protect our little land. Um, I don't have any other upcoming projects, but you can see my uh, previous games on Pantless Tables and on the Misadventures League. Uh, go check that out if you're interested. Thank you so much uh, for having me play this. This is so much fun. And mm -hmm. please do contact me again for do or die episodes. I would love to play. Nice. Excellent. Uh, definitely. And there will be more do or die episodes in the future at in undetermined time. But stay tuned. Anyway, take care, everybody, and wave goodbye. <laughs>